Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a drugstore complete, complete, completely, completely 100% drugstore makeup look. This is a look that I came up with, actually, not really came up with, it's what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I will wear this makeup look in some form or another, um, just using like different eyeshadow palettes. Honestly, it's kind of funny because I end up doing the same type of eye look, even if I use different eyeshadow palettes. That's just me, I love like matte browns all over my eyes. So, if you guys want to know how to achieve this look with um, all drugstore products, then let's get started. Alright, so I already went in with my NYX um, micro brow um, to fill in my eyebrows and then I cleaned them up with the NYX eyeshadow base and a little um, lip brush just to make them fleeky. But once I've done that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline. And you guys see me use this all the time. This is like my go-to primer. It just makes um, my foundation look a lot smoother, my makeup in general looks smoother, so. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline um, Fit Me foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This is actually what I wear on a daily basis, or what I've been wearing on a daily basis for school. It definitely does not get as oily as other foundations, and it lasts. I really like this foundation, so I'm just gonna apply this all over. So after I dotted this all over my face, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and tap it in. Make sure to blend it down your neck also so you don't look like you have a, a mask on. I'm just going to blend out my under eye concealer. I'm going to take a little bit more on these acne scars, or acne. So now that the concealer is done, I'm going to take my um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and a little contour brush by Real Techniques and set my under eyes just so that the concealer does not move throughout the day because for some reason um, my face gets like super super oily um, during the school day. Maybe it gets oily like any other day. It's just I notice it a lot more since I'm checking myself in the mirror to make sure I don't have anything in my teeth or anything on my face. Yeah, I have a very oily face. So I like to make sure that it's matte and set throughout the day. Once that's done, I'm going to take another Real Techniques brush. This is the buffing brush. The Physician's Formula uh, Mineral Wear Talc Free. Mineral Airbrushing Bronzer SP3. That's what it's called. I'm just gonna take this along my cheekbones and I'm gonna bronze up my face, not really like hard contouring. So just tapping it in. I honestly kind of use this as a blush. I put it all over my general cheek area. So like I'll even smile and like apply it this way. I'll put some on the sides of my nose but very messily, nothing too crazy. I'll even put some right here on my forehead just to give it a little color so that not all the color is concentrated on my cheeks, you know? And then I'll just take some down my neck. This is just so, once again, my neck and face match. Now I'm gonna be taking this um, Baked Blush by Milani in the shade Luminoso. This is what it looks like. The top of it actually came off. But I'm gonna take a um, angled blush brush like this take a little bit on my brush. These are very pigmented. So I'm just gonna apply this to the apples on my cheeks backwards. This is what is gonna give your face a little bit more color and make you look alive. Now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Um, and for school, I love wearing um, brown eyeshadow just because I feel like it makes my eyes look a lot bigger. And um, if you couldn't tell, like my eyes in general are not the biggest, so I like to make them bigger and brighter. So I'm just putting a little bit of this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer on my eyelids to act as an eyeshadow base primer thing. And setting it once again with my Stay Matte Powder. And today I'm actually going to be using an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. Um, I got this years ago. This was the first eyeshadow palette that I've, that I ever had, that I've ever had. It comes with all these colors, and I'm actually surprised at the quality of this because some of these, like, 
Um, especially the shimmery colors are so pigmented and creamy and yeah as you can see they're just really really pretty I'm surprised not many people talk about these palettes because in my opinion they're really really great quality yeah this was about six dollars I got this at like Ross or something like that I'm not exactly sure what the name of this is it doesn't have anything on the back it just says eyes lips face so maybe you could find it on Amazon or something like that I'm gonna start off with this light brown shade right here and just put this near my transition area I'm making sure to blend it into my brow bone really well to make sure it doesn't have any harsh edges so once that is down I'm gonna be taking this um, deeper brown shade it's a little bit more warm toned and I'm gonna be concentrating that on the outer half of my crease and not as high up as the transition color. Now I'm going to be taking this um, cooler, a little bit darker brown shade on a more um, precise brush and applying this even tighter in my outer area. Going back with uh, that blending brush that we've been using and blending it out, but not too much because we're trying to keep the um, darkness concentrated on the outer um, corners. So once that is done, I'm just going to be taking a mixture of these two um, colors that we put in the outer crease and applying that to my lower lash line. I find that this is what makes the biggest difference um, in making my eyes look bigger. So this is like one of my favorite parts. Is it just me? Or am I wrong? Lastly, I'm just going to be adding a touch of highlight to the inner corners with this um, shimmery pink color. And applying that to my inner corners. This is also something that makes my eyes look just brighter in general. I'm also dragging it underneath my lower lash line, the very beginning. Now I'm just adding the tiniest bit underneath the very arch of my eyebrow. And make sure to blend this out with your finger so that it doesn't look like you have eye boogers. Now, me personally, I have not been wearing um, mascara like this whole past school year. I mean, mascara. I have not been wearing eyeliner um, this whole past school year. A couple days here and there I'll wear eyeliner, but for the most part I've just been wearing mascara. I'm just going to apply the Maybelline, um, the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I like to add quite a bit of mascara just to make them nice and defined. And now for a drugstore highlight that I've discovered thanks to Kathleen Lights uh, in a video she made a long time ago. Um, this is the Physici Physician's Formula <laughs> Shimmer Strips. This is in the color Vegas. So it's like the Vegas Strip Light Bronzer, that's what it's called. But um, basically what I like to do is like blend them all together and you get this nice, I don't know if you can see it, this nice gold um, highlight. And it's not too intense, which is what I like about it because it's very subtle. So I'm just taking a brush like this, it's kind of flat, and I'm packing it on. So I have some like this, tapping it off like so. And then I'm smiling and applying it to my cheekbones. They have other um, shades as well, but I liked this this little palette the best. As you can see, it's not too bad for a highlight. Um, you just have to make sure to blend it because it can be streaky if you don't blend it. And then I'll take the smallest amount and put it on the tip of my nose. Not too much because I don't know if you guys have seen those people with like a light bulb on their the tip of their nose. I, I don't know how they do that. It, I don't... And I'm also applying a little bit to the upper bridge of my nose. I don't know if that makes sense. And also, I'll put a little on my a little on my cupid's bow as well, just like that. Now, lips is something that um, 
varies from person to person like what they're comfortable with wearing to school. I personally don't wear lipstick to school because it just gets uncomfortable and um, I'm constantly worrying about if it's on my teeth, if it's smeared on my face and stuff like that. So I'm just more comfortable, me personally, not wearing lipstick. But if you want to, you can totally do that. Something that I will do is put a little bit of lip liner on because that tends to last longer and doesn't smudge as easily as lipstick. The two that I wear like on a daily basis are these two NYX lip liners. The first one is in the shade Natural. And the second one is Ever. So Ever is a little bit deeper um, than Natural Naturals, like my lip color as it is now. It just evens it out a little bit more. You know, I'll pick between these two, whichever one I feel um, like wearing that day. And my lips are a little bit chapped right now, even though I just applied lip balm before this video, but it's fine. And either I'll leave it like that, or if my lips are like very dry, um, I'll put a little bit of lip gloss on. Gosh, I can talk. So I'll just apply a little bit of this to the center and blend it out with my fingers so it's not so drying. So that's pretty much it for this makeup look. This is what I typically wear for back to school. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up so that I know that you guys enjoyed this video, that you like these types of videos. And that is all I have for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I always say that a million times. I apologize. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!